Today is the day. That's at least what I thought. Because with World Chair 5, they added two new exotic weapons, and one of them being the exotic bolt action sniper, which I've been so excited about and been waiting for so long. But before I tell you how to get it, I need to tell you that right now, while I'm recording this, there's no one that have actually gotten the weapon. I have three out of four pieces, and I know a few other guys that also are three out of four. And we both have all the four pieces together, but just three different pieces. So no blueprint or gun so far. So I think this is actually supposed to be time based because the way we got the parts are not the intended way and that's why I think they haven't added the blueprint into the game yet and yeah we can't get the last part. Anyway I will tell you how you can currently get all of those fours but the three first you do are the ones you will get. As soon as I know 100% how to get it I will make an updated video but until then you can at least get three out of four pieces needed for it and be prepared. So to get the first part you have to do the Tidal Basin on Walter 5. I mean that's the only Walter you can do it on right now. So play the stronghold normally and when you get to this part on the mission, go into this building and go upstairs and pick up this key. Continue doing the mission until you get to this hovercraft. Like trust me you won't miss it, it's fucking huge. And in the end of the hovercraft to the left you will find the so called captain's room. Use the key to open the door and go to the weapon box and you will loot the SR1 unique sniper. Then you want to go into your inventory and deconstruct it. Just trust me on this part, okay? So when you've done that, you will get the first exotic part for the sniper, which is the scope called the tally. If we read on the scope part, it says Klutz, Shorty and Prime. All of those three are invaded, stronghold, end bosses. And how it works in Walter 5 is every week there's a different mission slash stronghold that you can change so it becomes an invaded one. Right now it's the capital building. You can change the mission or stronghold in the menu while changing difficulty by holding the button G. So after Tidal Basin we did the capital building stronghold at Walter 5 as well. The end boss is called Prime and he drops the exotic part called the Scourge which is the, the barrel for the sniper. So when it comes to the other two strongholds, like this is when the non-intended way comes in. So we have to log into a character at Walter 1 or to 3 I think. I logged into my alt being at Walter 1, then I invited my friends and as soon as they were on the session I just left my character and logged into my main and joined the group. So then we just went to the stronghold at Roosevelt Island and yeah make sure that this is changed to invaded otherwise you will get the wrong end boss. So the end boss in Roosevelt Island is called Shorty and he drops the exotic part called the scales which is the bolt part for the sniper. Then after that we had three exotic parts for the sniper so the last stronghold on the list is District Union Arena. We did this also on Walter 1 and the end boss is called Klutz and he drops the exotic stock part. We had three parts already so he didn't drop it for us. We even ran this mission three times and none of us got it. I've seen this drop for another streamer but he also got stuck at three parts. So the order doesn't matter. You get stuck at three parts because I assume that the blueprint is not in the game yet. Since this is not how it's intended to work. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be done in Walter 5 and then you would have to wait one or two weeks to actually be able to do all the strongholds as I invaded mission. So I guess we just have to wait until now. But anyway, I thought it was still worth to make a video about it so you guys can get free parts. But yeah, as soon as I get more info on how to get it, I will make an updated video so don't worry about that. But hope you guys still found this video useful and if you are interested in more guides or Division 2 videos in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.